without any more fanfare, let's get this show on the road. To kind of catch up a little bit, the engine is an, it's a international harvester made uh, up in Chicago, made in the USA. Uh, the engine, this one, uh, they be bagged both ways. This particular one is a McCormick Deering. To catch up on a few questions, comments, and one of them was this uh, this shoe, this forked shoe that resides in this area right here. And you can see probably a wire pattern on that, where that's been machined on both sides. And that's actually where that would have made contact. This would have been at the lower part of the housing. But first, the shoe here. These will wear, where they turn on this right here, some of them will wear this part out. And this part will remain as new. Uh, the reason that they wore out is because this pin, it gets bent. Uh, first, you can, to answer the comments, and there was uh, some private comments about this also, and I have done it in the past when need be. These would be wore I have actually had them to be worn to where the side view would be like ten thousandths of an inch thick. Or you could just break it off easily uh, with your hand. This one has a little wear, a little flat place starting there. And you do, you do need that to have a uh, uh, oval rounding shape to it. If it's flat, then it has to overcome the flatness before that this can that moves in and out that that's the way that that works it moves it does that it work it rocks like that right there in that position so if this is rounding it uh, it works smoother if it's flat it has to overcome that flatness in order to move and it'll be a jerky type movement and also it, when these gets wore down t too much that you can't round it over, this one's in good shape. It requires no, no, n nothing to be done to it. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Then, uh, yes, you would, and I have done it myself in the past. I have built these up with braise. Just braise that part together, you know, heat the whole thing. Just use your normal uh, brazing welding techniques that you can have success with is what you would use here. It's cast iron, nothing exotic about it. But you would build that up and then round that back off, but either by machine or by hand. But that's uh, that can be repaired. I have in the past, in lieu of welding, I have actually made a, a shoe to go there. Uh, most of the time out of brass, a uh, good grade, uh, the correct grade, and put two rivets in it. Put a rivet in the, down here and a rivet up here, pin it on the back, and make a, a wire shoe to go on there. I have repaired it that way. We, we'll talk about this in a minute, uh, a little more. Another thing that the comments was, um, a couple of them was in question, uh, and I don't think I, it was, uh, let's say it was uh, operator error in the exclamation. I, I would not advise, and I, and I hope I didn't advise that in that last video, that you would use this spring along with this spring because of the, the spring deflection rate. And that's one of the things that we'll talk about this. This 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 part here, well let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's take it step by step. Uh, if you were going to use this spring, if you had an engine that had these two springs on the engine, the, the correct thing to do would be 
to cut this spring down to the same amount of coils that this spring has which would mean you would cut it off right here you, you would take the insert out cut the spring off put the insert back in it and then you would you would be back to two original equal strength springs and that's the way that yoke fly ball mechanism works they, these do need to be matched up uh, I, I didn't intend to uh, lead anybody astray that you can run this spring along with this one as a normal even, even the the shorter ones just this amount see that's actually too much that's about a half an inch so this spring does the and I will do that probably cut that spring off right there and then uh, the inserts out so I'll put that back in there another thing 